Hey everyone, this is your pal EMDSD14R, and this is a review video on the Ten Shoto JR Nozomi 500. Um, so you guys saw my video, my unboxing video with this train, and I wanted to do a in-depth review and detail video um, of this train because it's so incredibly rare and cool that I just can't imagine myself not doing a review video on it. Uh, so let's get started um, with what I found out. So I was looking at the set in more detail and I noticed that all the cars are a different number. So this end car here is car number 16. So the real Nozomi 500 is 16 cars. So this is car number 8, car number 9, car number 5, and then this is car number 1. Now if you look at car number 1 here, and then car number 16, uh, you notice the different uh, details um, on the roof. And just looking at it from the side here, I'm going to put the nose of it right there against that car because I don't want it rolling off the table. Um, the numbers are also located right here on each side of the car. There's little warning labels, JR 500 West Japan. Um, then you have the undercarriage details for the different vents for the traction motors and so forth. Um, obviously there's full interior where appropriate. And you can see inside the cab there. Then you have your windshield wipers. Um, then let's do the back. There's your 8 pin plug right there. So your end cars can um, be equipped with decoders, and then your motor car can be equipped with decoders. Oh, by the way, um, my uh, one of my friends in Germany who has the end scale set, um, he actually went to the the railway museum in Japan where they actually have one of these and he sent me a picture of the real one compared to the HO one and the details are identical uh, on the cars which is which is really cool and then the truck details are amazing you see the different suspension details and brake details Ten Shoto, there's the name there's the name right there. Made in China. Which is pretty cool. All the cars say that underneath. So that's car 16. Um, this is car 8, which is one of the coaches. Oops. Little. So the detail there says green car. You can see that right there. I really like this Canon camera because you can just pick up all the fine details. So this is the main bus cable that goes between the cars. So car 8 and car 9 um, actually have that. Uh, I noticed in my video that I actually had these cars hooked up to the end cars here. And these two are supposed to be connected at this end. So I had the set kind of mixed up and I didn't know it at the time until after the video so yeah so here's the end detail on this car and you can see the full interior Let's see if I can get it cleared up full interior in there right, let me just do it this way because you guys can see it better this way so full interior um, 
There's the other other end right there. So yeah, I noticed that when I was reviewing the video. Um, here's car number nine. So the other car I showed you was number eight. And then the truck details. I mean, the detail on these cars is just, just amazing. It's 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 a, it's exquisite. Um, considering how old these are, um, they were really ahead of their time um, when they when when they were made. And I was looking over the body. Um, there's there's a couple nicks but they're really not they're not bad um this uh car number five which actually is the motor car actually does have a couple nicks on it um but they're really not it's not like it's like a scratch or anything it's like some of the paint got rubbed off but that's okay it's not that bad now because it has the motor in there it just has like the seat like the seat backs up there um I like the logos um, on this car. So there's that side, and then let me turn it around this way. And then the truck detail. And then now we look for the panic. We look at the panograph. I mean, look at the detail on this panograph. So right now it's in the down position, and all you have to do is you just do that, and it's raised. Um, the cool thing about it is the panograph. Uh, you can disassemble it, so no need to worry about breaking it, which is cool. Um, when I put it away, I usually um, just put it down. But if you see that little that little V right there. It's designed so that the panograph sits down in that V, like that, which is really cool. So that's what it looks like when it's down. That's what it looks like when it's raised, and it, you can you, you can obviously tell it's considerably lower than that than the panograph height of uh, American railroads, because the profile in Japan is a lot different. Their trains are lower and everything. So their panograph height is not the same as ours. Um, there's the end detail, and you can actually see in there how the floor is. So that's car number five, and then this is car number one. So it says number one there and you notice there's like two different styles of interior colors in each car But yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with this set. Oh, speaking of which, I have an update. I actually located on eBay a seller that actually sells uh, train uh, train storage uh, cases or boxes, and um, I'm going to purchase one of them my next pay. Um, so this set will be in a storage box, thank God. So I will buy that my next pay. Maybe I can get it this week, though. I'll have to see. But definitely my next pay, this set will have its own dedicated box. I wanted to get one from Japan that's for HO scale, and I wanted to modify it to accept this set. But with COVID going on, you can't really... Um, like, Japan's not doing anything airmail anymore. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this review video uh, of the Tenshoto Nozomi 500. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun making this video because this is an amazing train. Um, hopefully, if I find another one that's a good price, I will buy another one. But if not, I am definitely happy with this one. So you guys be cool. God bless and stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye, y'all.